When I stood in this peaceful place in the centre of Manchester and discovered the story it had to tell, I was moved to make this short documentary. Where are these places? They're quite well hidden, despite the close proximity to the cathedral and Victoria Station. Leaving the station, if you fall Corporation Street, along the side of the railway viaduct, until it merges with Danzig Street, you are in Angel Meadow area. This 1900 street map shows the concentration of back-to-back, one-up-one-down houses where they're infamous cellars. The Angel Meadow Park lies close to the viaduct on Danzig Street and what used to be St Michael's Graveyard. And at the top of the yard on Charter Street is the Ragged School or Charter Street Mission. The name Angel Meadow may sound nice, but its history is far from so. It was a place of unimaginable horror, desolation and death, literally a hell on earth. 200 years ago, Angel Meadow was an affluent area built on the hillock that sloped gently down to the banks of the River Irk. And then came the Industrial Revolution that would change it beyond all recognition, bringing with it a, an unstoppable influx of job seekers. Irish immigrants fleeing the potato famine, Jews arrived and opened businesses. The Irish chose to settle in the Angel Meadow area and were at first employed building the railways and factories. Overcrowding began. The once grand homes were turned into flats. Back-to-back -back terraces were erected. The infamous cellar dwellings were soon to be impregnated with the sewage seeping down the hill and contaminating all in its path. The drainage system was totally inadequate. In the 1700s, sanitation was not understood. A hundred tenants shared a lavatory, resulting in the spread of diseases like the, the deadly cholera. The dwellings were back to back and small, whole families living in one room with only a fireplace. Few had any furniture and used straw or rags on which to sleep or sit. Sanitation was almost non-existent. The local factories, a tannery, brewery, foundry, trite works, dye works, belched out their odious smells. Their effluence discharged into the irk until it became little better than an open sore. Add to this the, ro the rotting vegetation from the nearby Smithfield Market and the human sewage from some 20,000 beings resisting on just a few acres of land created a hell on earth. In the midst of all this human suffering, a few local people saw the need and responded. One such person was Frederick Engel, the son of a German local textile mill owner. He was so shocked at what he saw that he decided to document his observations. In some small part, it is down to his foresight that we now have an insight into the human degradation that existed in those dark days. Two ragged schools were opened in the 1800s in this area, known as the Charter Street and Sharp Street Ragged Schools. Initially opened as so-called industrial free schools, teaching basic skills in numeracy, building crafts for boys and housekeeping skills for girls, but later expanded their services to include limited support for children and adults by way of food and clothing in the winter months. 
the Charter Street mission is still partially operational to this day. St Michael's graveyard was closed in the late 1800s when it became full. Some estimates claim 40,000 interments. Most were paupers and therefore had no headstone. The death rate in this area was so high that burials took place almost on an industrial scale. These poor souls were buried in mass graves, coffins in layers one upon another. In the end, the whole area was flagged to safeguard the remains, and so the place became known as St Michael's Flags. It is a sobering thought that whilst walking in this peaceful place, that 40,000 people lie buried beneath your feet. The redevelopments referred to on the park plaques can clearly be seen all around the park, from the old CWS factory to the latest futuristic cooperative office block. It's worth noting that most of the offices in this area, in fact, belong to the co-op.